morning. Good morning, good morning. We're just arriving into Alden. We're about, I think it's that on the TV, 25 miles away. Okay. Nautical miles from the town. And we've woken up to this. How very, very beautiful. Yes. And stunning. Indeed. The water's really flat, isn't it? Really yeah, calm. Flat, calm and blue. I'm waiting for a whale to just pop its head up and go, Hello. Also, I have not shrunk. Alex has got his walking boots on, so <laughs> he's like quite tall. Thank you. We're going to go to Cabana's to get some breakfast, and then we're going to go and sit on the deck as we arrive into Olden, because as we told you in the last vlog, they're giving out free hot chocolate and cookies. Ooh. We roll. Shh. People are sleeping. I'm in my Norwegian era. Ooh, can we get a free table? Everyone's had the same idea to sit outside. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, he's taking it. Got a little breakfast. Make a waffle. And then here's our view. Breakfast done. We've just got some, picked up some blankets. And we're going to try and find a space on deck, aren't we, to sit and get our warm, fresh cookies and hot chocolates. Sounds like a good plan to me. Hey. Oh, we've got extra blankets. Found these seats here. Lovely. What you got? Um, a chicken and maple danish and a chicken something it looks like a samosa but i don't think it is it's more pastry yeah mm. and a hot chocolate and a hot chocolate and we're just sitting here watching the fjord go by i think we're about an hour away aren't we until we're getting to olden but it's stunning isn't it mm. oh, i don't know if you can pick it up see the snow on top of the mountain We've come back to the room, they're just waiting for the authority to dock. And when we do, we're going to be docking there. And we're off. So we need to look for Olden Adventures, because that's who we've booked our uh, coach trip with. So if you book with Olden Adventure for the transfers to the sky lift or the glacier, the chicken desk, there's the ship. And it's right here. Just to the right, it's this Olden Adventure. We've got our little bus tickets. So she said the bus leaves from the gas station, which is opposite the road and to the right. And it's a grey double decker. Here's the petrol station. Oh, and there's the grey double deckers. It is. We have arrived. We have arrived. The scenery to get here is stunning. Don't get run over by the bus. 
absolutely stunning. And then this is the car park that the bus has brought us to, and look. If you don't want to walk to the glacier, you can get a little troll car. Troll cars! Glacier is getting closer. Ah. There go the troll cars. And now I'm walking up this, I'm thinking I wish I got a troll car, to be honest. <laughs> I was saying I think I needed to do some stretching before I started trekking up here. You do have to pay for the troll cars, though. But this is quite steep. It's probably not. Wow. Where are you going? Oh, good. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I can't get my head around this. Around what? It's like, it just doesn't look real. <laughs> it's amazing. It's very pretty. Oh, we're gonna get wet. We are, probably. It's gonna be like being on the lunch plume. Troll cars. Yeah. I think the trolls from Frozen live in here. Look at them. They do look through a piece of They do. Ah. I think this has made me realise how unfit at hiking I am. We've arrived at the glacier. So, this is the Brick Sittenfeld Glacier, maybe? We'll go with that. It's a bit of a, a little hike, how long's the hike been? About I think an hour? It, yeah, it's about an hour, hasn't it? Yeah. Up here. It's, mm, some bits are like that, some bits are like that. If, yeah, I'd say if you have like mobility issues, take the troll car. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Equally, it's quite a long walk for a little kids, but some yeah. kids are very active and love to just power through. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's, it's up to you. It's stunning scenery though. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it, up here? I'll turn you around. So that's where you walk in after the little trek. the glacier. Bye glacier. Bye glacier. Glacier mint. Hmm. So the troll cars I'd say bring you three quarters of the way. Yes. And that's where there's toilets are as well. And then it's what a five ten minute walk to get to that lake where we were 
yeah uh, at the foot of the glacier yeah there is quite a steep bank to get up there from the troll cars yeah. so uh, bear that in mind and take your time if needed yeah i was just saying to max literally ah uh, i wish there were some goats around yeah goats on a rock billy goat and gruff ah uh, one two three four five there's five of them Hi. They've got little picnic cuts yep. and benches. I love how this got all the moss and flowers growing on the roofs. Yep. You see. <laughs> Whew, you get soaked walking through that. But you don't walk through the waterfall, but the spray off the waterfall. Yeah, it's like a almost like an ice bath, but an ice shower. Yeah, isn't it? lovely, refreshing water. Yeah. Wake you up, that's for sure. How long do you say that's taking us to get back? Mm -hmm. uh, Forty-five minutes, about the same time, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got an hour until our coach back, which means it's just enough time for a coffee. Where are we? Sure I don't know. I think that's good. right. Where Cheese and chorizo. Sure Chicken and pesto. I might get a chicken and pesto one. Yeah. Oh, they got a dime cake. Ah. Cheese sandwich. Ham and cheese sandwich. Apple juice. A wiener toast. I might get chicken and pesto. Yeah, two chicken and pestos. You queue up here. Hi. And you make your own drink here. And pay here. But look at the size of these cookies. We got two chicken pesto paninis. Coffee. Two cookies. What kind of cookies are they? Chocolate. Yeah, Toffee. Toffee chocolate. Mm. Sure. They could be dying to be fair. Ah. And then this is our view. Um, back to the ship. I've got the bag. Have you got the tickets to get back on the ship? Uh, Bus. We are just heading to... Well, we need to pick up our tickets for the next bus, the yeah. next shuttle bus, yeah. and pick up our tickets for the Skylift yes. as well, so which we was are... right next to where we picked up yeah, the tickets so this morning. We are heading back to the rendezvous point where we collected the bus tickets from for the glacier and then we are oh, walking cool. towards the Skyliner Skylift. We've got our Skylift tickets from Fjord to Sky in five. Oh, and then he said it's the blue bus at the end of the pier. Show this to the driver and he'll let you on. Blue bus, end of pier. Shuttle bus. The Leon Skylift. Yeah. So there's the bottom station, and it goes all the way up there. And Alex has gone very quiet all of a sudden. So, how, how are you feeling about it? We're going to be absolutely fine, Alex. I promise you. But where are the supports on the way up? They're there. The why is our look? How what are they? Oh. In case it like comes down too quick and can't stop. Also, 
What's that? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why Wow. Wow. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god. We're literally in the clouds. You can see the clouds yeah. rising up yeah. at us. The views from up here are beautiful. Oh, but I haven't been. You okay? Yeah, I just like slipped in the And there's a Disney dream. Right down there. On top of the sky lift as well, they've got a restaurant in there. Which overlooks the fjord. I can't get over how stunning this is. I don't know if this is coming across on video, just how breathtaking this view is. It is breathtakingly beautiful, I think, isn't it? I just said to Max, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I said, what about me? They do loads of activities, don't they? Here, do they call it terra, terra fauna? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Something like Sounds good. zip lining. So there's the zip line across there, and then I've just spotted some people down there. Are they like rock climbing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like scrambling kind of thing. I can't actually see where they are on here. There they are. I can see them. Here come. <laughs> When we walked into the shop slash cafe, where well, you could smell the cinnamon rolls, couldn't you? <laughs> they were they smell so nice. <laughs> so Alex has been craving one ever since because you all know how much Alex loves a cinnamon love roll. Love a cinnamon roll. So we're going to go and get one. This is the restaurant. Look at the views you get with the restaurant. There's the cinnamon rolls. Freshly baked Literally. cinnamon roll. She's just finished just cooking them. Pulled them out of the oven. Boiling hot, I can't tell you. Yeah. Ooh. Very toasty. Cinnamon indeed. rolls and views. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> this is not safe. <laughs> Hello, how cute are they? I think that sky lift is worth coming down. Oh yeah, I could have told you that ugh. going up. When we went over that, ugh, I thought I was going to throw up. Look, he's such a baby, aren't you? Getting back on, they had hot chocolate waiting for us at the gate as well, which was lovely. Lovely, lovely hot chocolate. You look like the number one Disney fan with your Walt Disney World across the top and then your Walt Disney World bag. We're done and old and now we have sailed away. Yeah. We've got all dressed up and fancy. Ooh. Because <laughs> we've got a dining reservation at Paolo tonight, which yeah. is one of their signature restaurants, which you have to pay for. Yeah, adult says. Oh. Yes. 
We are now seated in Paolo with this view. It's almost like I planned eight o'clock on the day we depart Alden to come to Paolo. <laughs> Sail through the fjords eating dinner, how delicious. And here's the menu. So they have, this section is set menu and it's $50 each, but you get antipasti, insulata, second course and dessert, or you can choose off the main menu. And then they do also have a wine list. Our amuse bush has arrived. Can you please tell us what she said it was? It was a potato gnocchi in a mushroom reduction sauce, basically sprinkled with parmesan. These are our, well, it's kind of a main, but I've had it as a starter because I'm very, very hungry. And I've also had a main. So some of the pastas or pizzas on the menu you could order as like a main or a starter, depending on the size of them. And depending on how hungry you are. Yeah. So you've had a pasta as a starter. I have. This is butternut squash. Ravioli. Ravioli with the burnt butter sauce, almond cookies, and then uh, mascarpone? And then Max has got the... Amaretto cookies. Amaretto yeah. cookies, sorry. What did I say? <laughs> Almond. Um, uh. uh, and then I've gone for the calamari, which also comes with a jumbo shrimp. Oh, and the breads. The breads are delicious. Main courses, that is a big burrata. <laughs> Max has got a burrata and um, ham. Yeah, pizza. Ham, pizza. And our friend Craig's recommendation. Because he recommended it. And then I've got beef risotto, <laughs> beef, red wine, Ugh, bone. Still sailing through the fjords for the next three hours, I think. In just the time away, it's currently half past nine. I know the sky currently makes it look like half past three in the Yeah, half nine at night. Dessert has arrived and Max has gone for the souffle. The chocolate souffle. Because it's either chocolate or an amaretto souffle. I've gone for the chocolate souffle. And um, with two chocolate sauces and a little bit of gelato. And they've bored a hole into it and poured both sauces in. And I've got a limoncello tart. That looks lovely. And interestingly, our server said that the they make the limoncello on board, didn't they? Just look at this view. And to finish, we have our pellet cleanser, which is a limoncello sorbet with apple brandy, she said. And Prosecco. And Prosecco. To a lovely holiday. Cheers. <laughs> wow. So this is where the golf course is. Yeah. But it's also a brilliant view of the back of the ship. The mini golf. Or houses. So, how was your overall dinner at Paolo? Paolo was really good. Paolo yeah. always is good. I'm so full though. Yeah, very full. I've had a lot of food that expands. Yeah, you've had pasta, pasta, and more pasta, haven't you? Pretty much. Pasta, risotto, bread, bread <laughs> cake, stuff. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely loved it. The yeah, calamari was all right. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, um, but I. Kind of only like calamari when it's done really well, and it's done really well, obviously at Paolo. My pizza was delicious. 
again, very filling, isn't it? Bread and pizza. Yeah. Um, and then I had souffle. So yeah, it was, yeah. It was good. It was really overall. I have had such a good day today. I have said it before and I will say it again. Alden, I think it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. And like you can see like why there's so many like mystical magical stories that yeah. kind of come out of Norway regarding trolls. Trolls. And like obviously Frozen is set in Norway. Like when we um, were walking up to the glacier and you were looking at the rocks, they look like trolls. It's very mystical. Even the clouds and mm-hmm. the weather, the fjords. The scenery, it is all very, very stunning. Absolutely very pretty stunning. part of the world. So if you are, ever do get a chance to come this way, I strongly recommend it. Yeah. As Alex says, it's his most favouritest part. Most beautiful uh, place that you've ever I've seen. I've ever seen. And then just after Paolo, we were just walking around the ship, weren't we? And Donald was taking photos in the atrium. don't know if you can see. There you go. Ta-da! So we just had a photo with Donald. We were having a really quite a long chat with him. We? we were, but I get awkwarded out you, with you... characters because I'm like, ah, ah, I'm sure we've probably said before, but Alex we really struggles with your improvisation, yeah. don't, don't you? You want me improvisation? And then he didn't realise I was there because I'd gone to put my stuff on the table, but Max had walked off and gone to hug him. So no, he I was came just, to greet me. I was just stood behind Donald, like, hi. So I literally had to say, "Oh, Alex is here too." <laughs> Uh. So overall, the day has been a solid ten eight plus ten. plus, or ten ten out of ten. Tomorrow we dock in Alisund. Alisund. So it's the last of the Norwegian ports of calls mm-hmm. before we head over to Iceland. Tomorrow we've not got anything booked or planned, have we? No excursions booked. So we might just get off and have a little explore, might Let's we? See what's around. I know there's a place you can go to. Like a lookout point. Okay. Yeah, which has got a cafe on the top of it and stuff. Nice. I know I love a cafe. Thanks for watching. Hope Thank you've enjoyed you today. Watching. And I hope... If you have watched to this point. Yeah, I hope some of the scenery comes across on camera as it did in real life. Because it is stunning. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to give us a little like. Um, obviously leave a comment if you've been to Alden before or what was your favourite part of Alden from the video. Yes. And yeah... Subscribe if you're new here. And we shall see you next week for our Dane Elephant. Bye. Bye. Bye.